ultimately, I think there's a huge opportunity in front of us. We see that capital is shifting from a more conservative side of the market to the more aggressive side of the market in the next two years. I don't think we're going to get a very rapid interest rate decline, but more of a steady decline until we hit around 3%. So if you understand interest rate movements as an investor, you will be able to find where the next opportunity is. In the last three months, Bank of Canada has been cutting interest rates. And for Federal Reserve, they also released their minutes saying that they're ready to cut interest rates. But what does that mean? And how does that impact the different areas of the market? So let's get started. So the first change is the interest cost to run the business. And when interest rate goes down, it makes it easier to start a new company. It makes it easier to borrow money to invest in a business stocks and this will drive up the demand for investing and this leads to prices going up number two when interest rate goes down money that was previously parked in the money markets will flood the stock market real estate and the business markets as well and that is because the money market return is no longer that good and they will need to move on to things like the stock market to get a higher return. Number three, interest rate coming down means that it is easier for a startup to get capital. And this, of course, leads to new businesses. When you're looking at how a startup gets valued using a discounted cash flow, a decrease in interest rate will actually increase the valuation of a startup. And that means smaller companies will be worth more. Number four, the decrease in interest rate means that the existing high interest loan, for example, you're getting a 12% loan, will become more valuable. Because there aren't going to be as many new high interest rate loans in the future, so as interest rate is coming down, a loan that offers a high interest will be worth more. And number five, as interest rate comes down, the cost of private lending will also come down. Because usually a private lending interest rate is calculated based on the bank's rate plus a certain spread. So if the bank's rate is coming down, then the cost of private lending will also come down as well. So that means it will be more difficult for private lender to find good deals. And this will also be easier for investors to fund new projects. So those are the five key changes I've listed in this video. And if there's any more key change you observe, Leave a comment below and click like and subscribe and I read every single comment.